Hello everyone and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls Remastered PvP and another weapon showcase. Today we are taking a look at the Titanite Catchpole, which you get as a drop from the Titanite Demons. Now this is a relatively rare weapon, simply due to the fact that there are a finite number of Titanite Demons in the game, and it's one that we don't see very frequently in PvP due to the fact that this weapon is mediocre. Now, that said, it's not a terrible weapon, it's just not great. It's not good, it's just not great. So, with this weapon, it requires 16 strength and 14 dexterity in order to wield. At plus 0, it has a descaling in strength, a descaling in dexterity, and a descaling in intelligence. Its physical base damage is 125, and its magic base damage is 159. And at plus 5, its scalings have remained unchanged, so that's a descaling across the board through its entire upgrade path, which is unfortunate. But its base damage is up to 187 for the physical, 217 for the magic, and that's not terrible to be honest with you. The base damage on this weapon is easily the biggest pro of the weapon. It means that it is a viable weapon for a lot of different builds. It will work well on a strength build, dexterity build, quality, even a fate. It will work well across the board for a lot of different things because of that high base damage. Now, beyond that, it is a halberd class weapon, so the reach on this weapon is pretty decent, and its criticals are relatively damaging, so that is a good benefit to the weapon as well. But that's about as far as where it pros go. So, beyond that, it's all going to be cons. The R2 is slow, it's easily dodged, it doesn't deal enough poise damage so people can poise through and backstab you if they didn't just dodge it and backstab you. Beyond that, it's got that poor scaling so you're not going to be dealing the greatest damage with your regular attacks. And if someone uses Grit Magic Barrier, you're just going to have a terrible time of things because that'll take the majority of your damage and it'll just go away for the time being. It basically will cut your damage output in half. From my experience when fighting someone who's using Great Magic Barrier, a backstab on them only did around 400 damage compared to the usual 8 to 900 that you can expect throughout the rest of this video. So yeah, not great. So overall, the limited viability in the moveset definitely hurts out, hurts the weapon's performance. And it is what it is. When you see someone using this weapon, chances are they're going to go for an R2, because that's really what makes this weapon unique. It's what makes this weapon fun to use, and don't get me wrong, this is a very fun weapon to use. The R2 is very satisfying to land because of its difficulty. But in serious PvP, in the uh, tournament scenes and all of that, you won't see it. It's not viable in that regard, it's not good enough in that regard, to the point where it's going to be common. So it is what it is. Overall, it's a fun weapon to use, it's slightly mediocre, but therein lies the fun of the weapon. And it just goes to show that even though this isn't a top tier weapon, it still does have its pros, it still can be used. Its criticals are still very damaging, and that's not a bad thing to rely on. So that's all I've got for this one guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, found it helpful in one way or another. If you have, then please like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff, and I will see you all next time.